हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ आई एम ऑफिशियल आज के वीडियो में हम बात करने वाले हाउ टू इंस्टॉल रियल टेक ऑडियो कंसोल ऑन विंडोज 11 और व्हाट एवर वो एस इट इज रियल टेक हाई डेफिनेशन ऑडियो ड्राइवर इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस के बारे में हम आज बात करने वाले तो ऑफन टाइम्स हम जब विंडोज या फिर पीसी नया बिल्ड करते या विंडोज नए इंस्टॉल करते हैं तो बाय डिफॉल्ट रियल टेक ऑडियो कंसोल नहीं होता है हमारे हमारे डिवाइस पे तो हमें उसे मैन्युअली इंस्टॉल करना पड़ता है so uh, it depends on your system whether it is uh, like uh, pre-built system or uh, windows install है already तो अगर का अगर आप pre-built system लेते तो उसमें शायद install already हो otherwise we'll just follow some steps to download it and install it on our system so मैं पहले आपको दिखा देता हूँ यहाँ पे install नहीं है मैं फिलहाल check कर लेता हूँ real tech as you can see the app is not coming here also if I check my app lists here uh, you can see some basic apps are installed already. I mean, I uh, installed uh, them manually. However, uh, the real tech is not available here. Okay, so I have to install it in order to use uh, its uh, high definition uh, experience. Like, so how do you install it? So you you might have tried uh, installing it from Microsoft Store and uh, other sources as well as uh, like uh, official website of real tech. But still, uh, I guess you have failed and you have came here like uh, to find a solution. So I'll give a straight solution. You can just follow this too, and I hope it will work for you too. So first of all, you have to know what is the uh, model name of your motherboard. Like the what is the name of your motherboard, the company and the mother, uh, model name. Okay. So in my case, it's uh, a Gigabyte uh, B450 uh, M. So Whatever it is, I'll go to is go straight to any browser for uh, a guest browser, for example, and I'll type uh, the motherboard name here, uh, Gigabyte B550 M, sorry, DS 3 inch AC. Okay, that's it. Just click enter, or you can also add some here in the search for drivers. Okay. So you make sure you, you have all the necessary drivers for your motherboard in order to uh, use Realtek because it depends, it completely uh, relies on the drivers, all right? So you can add drivers in order to get the specific link. So we can see www.gigabyte.com motherboard here, the downloads button also here. So just you have to go to the model uh, product page, okay? So you have to find the product page, exact motherboard with the uh, same model name as you can see, for example, uh, in our case it is this model name and we are uh, actually here in support you can see if you go to the uh, uh, main page you'll see something like this and then you can see some tabs here download cpu support manual support uh, support list etc so if you go to download or support here click here or here you'll see a list of drivers available for downloading okay so here driver for windows 11 or 10 you can select that windows 11 for me and then you'll just download you have to download it from here all right so download it uh, okay let's now it's downloaded now we can find it in download folder all right here extract it and then all right it's being extracted all right now we have the extracted folder here it's opened uh, let me show you again this so zip file i'm deleting this okay this is the extracted folder and inside it we have a setup file find out find it out here setup you can see application type file type is application and its name is setup double click on it it will open and it will install the driver first so you must install the driver first in order to get the app so let me uh, first install the uh, driver here we can follow the on screen instruction next and then it is being installed all right if you all right it's taking some time okay here we go so it will ask you to restart your computer you can just skip it like you can click on now uh, i'll restart my computer later and finish it okay uh, you might need to restart your computer in order to uh, take the driver like uh, it uh, like in action 
okay otherwise uh, the driver will not start to work so uh, the driver installation is all right it's done now we have to install the app how do we install it we will go to uh, microsoft store and uh, we have to search for that okay uh, let me open it okay now search for real tech audio console uh, you'll hardly find it like you'll not see it here uh, if you don't see then don't worry uh, I'll give you a link here for if you just go to this website uh, I have inserted the exact link of the web page you can just go from the video description so I have attached the link in my video description you'll just click on that and then scroll down to below like until we find the download link of um, Realtek audio console app so scroll down and you'll see something like this so this is the driver link actually okay for the particular motherboard and scroll down till we get the okay so here it is the Realtek audio console application will uh, use this link okay click here and it will take you to the Microsoft store page uh, get in store app and open Microsoft store all right so here you can see the install button is active uh, available here just click here and see it's so whether it's being downloaded or not it will surely uh, start to download like uh, uh, in some cases it might uh, show an error but when you download the driver uh, uh, from official source uh, it will start to download okay so you first you have to download the driver and install it and then uh, restart your computer if needed then try to uh, download and open it okay then it will work now opening it and as i can see here it's working perfectly now if i check uh, whether my uh, driver is installed or not i can simply check from here sorry the app is installed or not so real tech and i can see the app is uh, appearing here also in the app list okay it's already installed as you see uh, from the microsoft uh, store here it is so i can open it and it will work as it is so that's it and uh, now you can control customize uh, uh, the audio settings and uh, also the audio devices so this way you can uh, easily uh, install realtek audio console and also install the driver required to uh, run the application so that's all for this video if you find this helpful then please give it a like and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, have a good day and goodbye. And uh, wait a minute. If you find this video uh, difficult, like if you don't understand my language, then please go through the blog. Uh, you'll see a detailed instruction step by step process how you can do it. Uh, finally, the conclusion is you first have to download and install the driver uh, depending on your motherboard model and its source, like official source. So you can find it using your motherboard or website. Uh, uh, otherwise uh, the universal uh, driver whatever it is you can find it or you can watch other videos for this also like how to install the universal driver so I'll recommend you to download it from your official motherboard website it will be uh, compatible for your computer so that's it thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video till then have a good day and bye bye